Okay, so yeah, I thought that I might show um, a bit of my portfolio here today. Um, here are some pictures from uh, Jumanji. I worked on the film Jumanji, the, uh, the original film with Robin Williams in it uh, way back in the day. And um, I sculpted this bust of Robin Williams and did the mold for him. And I did this concept of running shoe. That's me right there with the tall hair. And uh, I helped to sculpt uh, many, many vines that we arranged in this staircase area for uh, the film Jumanji. When the vines took over the, the house, they grew everywhere. And those were actually built in 3D. Um, we actually ran wires inside of all of those vines so that we could arrange them all as, as we went along. Anyways, um, this is this is a a concept monster foot that I um, sculpted for the the film uh, Tales of the Crypt. Uh, it was Bordello, the Bordello of Blood, I believe it was called, and this is a um, a body mold of. Angie Everhart, who was Sylvester Stallone's girlfriend at the time, and this is a sculpture of a uh, chest wound that I also sculpted for that film. Uh, these are two pieces of artwork that I sculpted for, uh, well, for for myself and uh, for a show, and uh, they were both sold. Okay. All right, again, that's another piece of artwork that I sculpted there. Um, and here, this is uh, a portrait of um, Bo Bridges and a portrait of Bo Bridges' son. They both played together in the pilot, The Outer Limits, um, which was, it, it was a two-hour pilot. It was basically a movie for... Uh, the Outer Limits TV show. All right, and this is, uh, these are keys that I sculpted for, um, I, I believe it was, oh gosh, it was Poltergeist, The Legacy, and these are um, sculptures for a, a, an arc that was in Poltergeist, The Legacy, and this is an emblem for Poltergeist the Legacy. And here's the arc that was made from those things. Here's one of the keys. And here is a computer scan of the arc so that special effects could be run through it. Um, and here is a gargoyle for Poltergeist the Legacy. Here is my gargoyle on the outside of a magazine for... No, actually I think that was the inside of the magazine for um, Poltergeist the Legacy, um, yeah, and here are some more personal sculptures that I made for um, selling, um, little elephant, rhinoceros, a pig, these are sculptures, uh, these are big rock sculptures that were sculpted for, um, I believe it was the top of Seymour Mountain for uh, it was a feature with Charlton Heston. Uh, I think it was called Alaska. And this is a creature. Oh gosh, what was that for? I don't. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't remember what movie that was for. But here's here's some parts of of a creature. I didn't do the whole creature. I just did uh, surface detail work on this creature, and I did. Um, Details like the tongue, details like the feet, uh, details like skin and mouth texture, and things like that. Yeah, I remember things like this this whole entire arm that I sculpted the entire arm of that, but the body was blocked out by another artist. So anyway, I did the arms and the hands completely. And... Uh, Oh yeah, this this was for Titanic, the TV series. 
these are replicas of, of artwork that was on the Titanic. Um, and yeah, this was a 16 foot high bas relief carved in foam. This is 16 feet from here to here. And this here section of it would be about eight foot high. These are uh, personal sculptures that I sculpted uh, for selling. Spirals, um, spiral sculpture, sculpture. And these are props that I did for uh, Stargate. And this is another personal sculpture. Uh, this is a life-size Pteranodon sculpture. You can see me sitting on top of it right here. That's me. That was sculpted for Mr. Magoo. Here's a picture of the set and the Pteranodon on the set. Here's uh, me standing beside the back of the Pteranodon. I believe uh, Leslie Nielsen actually rode on this Pteranodon. And um, and I think he slid down the back of this dinosaur. We built this dinosaur very large, but I, I designed the dinosaur. Here is the maquette for the dinosaur. And then uh, there was a life-size dinosaur built after that. But um, I didn't sculpt that one, but I did design it. <laughs> and these are, these are life-size heads for, for the same movie, Mr. Magoo sculpted in foam. This this would be about five feet from here to here. Yeah. Or six. About five or six. There we go. And here's another personal sculpture. Another personal sculpture. Now we're going back to um, college. These were done in college. Uh, this was done in college. Two more sculptures from college. Um... Here's some folk art that I made for sale, and it sold very well. Here's some another personal sculpture that was made and was sold. Personal sculpture, personal sculpture, and we're almost done. 